Hi, dear traders and investors. Today is Tuesday, October fifteen. I'm ready to share a regular market review prepared for InstaForex. Let's check the economic calendar. We've already got to know U.S. inflation data. There are no important reports either today or tomorrow. Let me remind you that the crucial event this week will be the ECB policy meeting and the following press conference of Christine Lagarde. This event will take place on October 17. Now let's discuss my trading ideas. As usual, we begin with gold. My trading idea for buying gold is based on the bullish one-bit pin bar. It suggests growth of the instrument on the ground of the bunch of news which happened last week. Buying activity is going on in the market. If you want to buy gold, you may adjust your market entry point to a swing low. The target for long positions is the test of recent historic highs. The euro dollar pair disappointed traders yesterday. Nevertheless, I earned several peeps yesterday. What exactly arose at questions is that the instrument did not update a high hit after the U.S. inflation data. The price approached the post-inflation level twice, but eventually declined. There was modest buying activity, and the instrument made three swing lows. One was untouched. The second was hit, and the price was trading below. Then the instrument fell. The currency pair tried to reverse during the European session. There was a swing low. My trading plan is about immediate growth of almost 500 pips from current levels. Now the euro has got stuck near the low of August 7. It would be logical to update it. It would be more gainful to go long lower at 1.0849. The euro dollar pair has been given buying opportunities for the whole of 2024, but it has not updated a high of 2023 yet. I assume it will be happen soon. This ambitious plan suggests growth of 3,200 pips from current levels. It is the ultimate bullish target. The interim target is the post-inflation level. The most volatility will be on Thursday because of the ECB policy meeting. The euro's weakness is due to expectations of the ECB rate cut. I'm puzzled about the extent of the rate cut and Lagarde's commands. Unlock the euro, the pound sterling has updated the post-inflation high. The pound dollar pair is trading more lightly than the previous instrument. The pound left several downward targets. If a swing low is confirmed, we could try long positions. The breakout of the swing low was soft. It looks like a trap for buyers. I found defense. I found dense liquidity around the lows of September. This liquidity will be taken for sure. Since September, the pound dollar pair has slumped by 4,000 pips with minor retracements. I remind you that the likelihood of trend continuation is always higher than the likelihood of a trend reversal. I used to tell you about my crazy trading idea for a rally to 1.43, the high of 2018 and 2022. I admit it could happen, not immediately, perhaps in half a year, but I want to take part in this trend so we could enter long positions during pullbacks. The USD CAD pair is trading higher non-stop without any retracements on its rally. The price is now trading above a swing high. Earlier, the instrument did not update the low of 2022. If the swing high is not held, the price could surge and make a downward correction. Meanwhile, buying activity has broken the downtrend channel. I warned you it is risky to buy the instrument at current levels. Amazingly, the USD CAD pair has been growing for half a month without a single retracement. Such trends could be pro protracted, so be cautious. The Tele Yan pair has been also rising. Selling activity pushed the instrument down, but I don't rule out the third wave. Now the price is approaching a 50% retracement. That's all for today. See you online later this week.